Okay, I got those grow lights hung up over the strawberries and I don't see any strawberries just like wilting and dying So as far as I know they're doing pretty dang good. There's actually a few strawberries already coming in um, And those are the grow lights I got off Amazon And right for right now, I just set this one up This isn't hot at all, but that's not hot at all uh, So I just have it set up like this because I tried to find some PVC that would fit this but this stuff's so thin it doesn't match up with any of the schedule 40 or any other thing that Lowe's or lock supply everyone has because um, I was going to make I was going to add a stand to it to hang this light over because I really didn't want to screw into the wall or nothing um, so right for right this minute I'm going to leave it like that like I said it's not hot at all it doesn't put any heat off it's crazy let's see these aren't hot either but those lights are good um, I've been using those for two years I actually have some more right here and we got some uh, cucumbers sprouting up you can't see them I watered them a little bit ago and I have a bunch more seeds that we're going to plant we're gonna put it in here today. Me and Hayden, the girls are gonna do that. I got my onions I'm getting ready to plant today too. But yeah, these grow lights, if you're ready, I've had a lot of questions about the grow lights. I've seen some posts of mine. Um, I wanna put a link down below. I actually just ordered four more last night um, because I wanna put some on the bottom of that and then I'm gonna plant some more uh, right down there. So um, if you're interested in that, put an uh, Amazon link below. You guys can get those, they work really good. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. But today I want to talk to you all a little bit about, I actually have a little project I'm going to do with the chicken coop, but um, man, something that a lady said at Walmart last night, um, I went to, you guys all, all know what's going on with this CV. Um, I, I went to Walmart last night to stock up our pantry, just, just to add some stuff that um, we went low on just to get things ready. Um, if there's anything that does happen here around here and uh, something crazy that this lady said last night, has me scared to death and not for my safety or my family's safety, but for her and people that are like-minded like her um, but i'll talk about that here in a little bit uh so if you just want to see that part of the video you have to skip forward a little bit right now um hayden's going to help me put a tarp a canvas tarp up on the chicken coop uh, uh run we've they're calling for rain for the next nine days uh so uh, we're gonna get that up and I'll talk to you what I'm talking I'm, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm talking about this what this lady said it just it kind of just blows my mind like man some people just just don't have a clue um, but hey you gonna help me yeah all right we're gonna put that canvas tent up there I'll do some other stuff and then we'll get back and I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about okay so you think one of those tiny chickens the one that like the, the tiny is yeah it's the, it's the bantam ones over there oh. old English okay so this is the canvas tent I bought it's 10 by 12 or 10 by 8 and that's actually eight by eight but with the pitch so i'm hoping the 10 will fit over and it'll be just just fine and they sell one just for that but it was like 39 dollars, and i got this for 49 dollars. and it's a canvas tarp i just thought it'd be he more heavier duty and be a better op better option you ready to help me yeah right. that's funny every time that turkey hears us talking or they gobble at it it just Rrr. this is a heavy duty canvas tarp and you can make these more waterproof than they already are i guess but i'm not gonna mess with that right now the trick is it's getting some stuff on me you can see it it's heavy dude i'm gonna throw it over there and hayden can maybe help me a little bit here
Okay, so I ran out of bungees. I need one, two, three, about four more bungees to really get this secured perfect, but it's really, really tight. Uh, I've been uh, leaving this door open so they can just kind of come out here during the day in free range. But this is the automatic door from uh, Chicken Guard. It works awesome. Hayden was just talking to me about it. Um, yeah. She's like, how does that go down? You just push it down. You can't automatically, you can manually do it, but it's set up on um, a light sensor right there too. <laughs> and uh, that should work right. This should work really good. It's a canvas cover. Like I said, I need to bungee it down right here. And then one right there, one over there, and one right there. So I'll have to go on town and get some more of these black bungees. They work really good. Get nice. Gotta get that tight, a little bit tighter. Like I said, we got a lot of rain coming, and uh, this should help quite a bit in here. What's that sound he's making? He's, like, he's just strutting. You can see it. It's gonna work good. What do you think, Hayden? Thanks okay. for your help. It looks, it looks pretty good. It does look good, don't it? Yeah. Just gotta get a little tighter. I think that's gonna be way better than the one they actually make for it. It's gonna last a lot longer. What are they looking for? Worms. And is that ain't shocking you? Let me no. go turn it on and see if it'll shock you. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you see where those onions were at? Those onion bulbs? Yeah. Let's go plant some. Okay. All right, Abe. Abe. We'll see you in a little bit, buddy. Okay, we're out here at uh, the tubs we got from Garden with Leon. Go check him out on YouTube. He does a lot of stuff with these. Um, they're self-wicking tubs, and he tells you how to build them, all that stuff. We'll fill them up with water after we plant them. We're gonna mix them all up, put this planting, uh, planting mix in there. And we're just gonna do three of them, because I'm gonna put two, I'm gonna do three tubs of onions, and then two tubs are gonna be, um, I'm gonna have a squash plant in each one. Um, but right now we're just doing the onions. But check this garlic out that I got from, um, uh, Mark from Bumby Junction. I planted it directly into these bags and it is looking awesome. It's nowhere near ready to harvest yet, but you can tell I'm gonna have some big bulbs. Plant directly into those bags. All right, Hayden, you ready to help me? Yeah, well, right. guys, check this out. Oh, yes. All these snails. Oh, dang. Huh. I just found them. We'll put them back in there, not hurt nothing. But we are gonna give these grub worms to the chickens. Where'd they go? Where'd all the grubs go? Right there. Oh, there they are. Where does it even turn into? You can see we got some volunteer onions coming up from last year that I planted in there. We'll just kind of maybe just leave those alone. Okay, so all you do with these, you fill them up. There's a hole down there, and you might be able to see it on camera. Um, once you fill it up, they'll start coming out of there. I think it's like five inches up. The water start coming out, and you put your fertilizer uh, through here. So I gotta go find my fertilizer and put it in here, and uh, that's that should last like several several weeks. I think maybe like two three weeks. Um, but we're getting, getting ready to get a lot of rain, 
Um, we got you getting those worms? Yeah, they keep hot, like digging in there. We're getting ready to get a lot of rain, so I was going to go ahead and just plant these, get them in the ground. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt anything at all, um, but we'll go from there. Those are, like I said, those are volunteer onions from last year. I left them in there, and we just planted these three. And then later, once our squash plants come up, we'll bring out here and put a squash uh, plant in each one of these and see how it does this year. Okay, so Hayden's going to grab, the, or Hallie, Hallie, grab those grub worms and give them to the chickens. I'll meet you guys over the chickens. They don't bite. Uh, they're going to grab those grub worms. We're going to come over and feed them to the chicken and uh, chickens, and then I'm going to tell you about what that lady said in Walmart that's like got me concerned. It's crazy. We got some grub worms. All right, come on, see if we can get the turkey to eat them. Don't touch the fence up because it's on, okay? Ow. That ain't biting you. Can you throw them in there? Yeah. There was like seven of them, Hayden. Where's I know, I don't know where they went. Lost them. Watch this. Yeah, they keep digging. Uh-oh. Whoa. They were like... Oh, he just ate three. Yeah. <laughs> You all ain't sharing, are you? They were, poke, they were poking me. <laughs> they, were, they were what? Poking me. They was poking me. you? Yeah. Hayden, what do you, Hadley, what do you think about what me and Hayden put the new canvas top up for the chickens? Good. Looks good, don't it? Yeah. Let me help you. Okay, so while the girls are doing that, they're getting those ready for us to plant some seeds. Um, I actually want to go get some mushroom dirt tomorrow. Um, there's a place about 40 minutes from here. I can get a truckload for like 30 bucks. Um, if it's not pouring down rain, I might try to do that. Um, if not, we'll have to get it probably in a week or so. I want to fill the raised beds up with them stuff. Hey, Gracie, Gracie, come here. Gracie's in there digging with stuff. Uh, but anyways, uh, so last night I was checking out. So I went to Walmart, like I said earlier, to restock our... Hold on. So I went to Walmart last night to restock our pantry and I got some other things um, just for like if uh, we were to be uh, stuck at home for a long period of time that we could we could com comfortably uh, feed the kids and stuff, stuff like that. I'm not worried about it because I could probably afford to lose about 30 pounds or so. So but anyways, uh, enough of that. Anyways, uh, so I'm checking out and there's and what's this, the irony of it is I went like at 9 or 10 o'clock at night because it's usually pretty slow. Um, but with everything going on, with the CV going around and uh, uh, everything, there was a lot of older people there, probably a lot of them in their 70s. Uh, maybe there was a couple of couples that were in their in their 80s, probably they were just older couples um, that were stocking up uh, big time, um, just preparing for uh, maybe what's to come. And uh, I'm like, that's awesome. Um, when you start seeing older generations uh, do things like that, you know, hey, maybe I should do it too. Um, so that's what I did, I had a cart full of stuff. And, uh, hey, I had, a, I had a cart full of stuff and I'm checking out, and this this uh, little old lady, probably 70 or so, um, around there, and I heard her right behind me uh, say, ask the cashier, she said, hey, um, have you been pretty busy today? And the lady said, yeah, it's been busier than, than we expected. And she said, yeah, it's probably all those crazy preppers, all them crazy people that think they're gonna have to be staying at home for a long period of time. And she, I uh, look back at her and she just looks at me and kind of like looked at my cart and looked back, looked back at me, like kind of judging me. I'm like, hey, I got three kids to feed. I don't care what you say or what you do. Um, but that's what scared me about it um, because people are so naive to think nothing in the United States can happen like it is overseas. And it's already here. Um, the, the CV's already here. Um, it's, 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 uh, it's spreading. Um, so it, it can most definitely happen. And I wanna be prepared for those little girls right there uh, to the best of my ability. Um, so when people say stuff, they laugh at us. Um, you guys store food, you do this, do that. Your preppers, your homestead, I don't care one bit. Um, as long as I can take care of my family, my little girls and my wife, um, they can say whatever they want because they're the ones that won't be laughing um, when they have nothing. And uh, I, I didn't go to the store and just buy like people buying all this toilet paper and stuff. That wasn't what I was doing. I was getting uh, canned food, a few canned foods and some just other things, just uh, essential things. And uh, it, I mean, it was, it was it was no big deal to me. Um, but to hear that generation of person say what she said that we're crazy for preparing. Would you not rather be prepared for something than unprepared? I most definitely would. There's no no doubt about it in my life um, because when you're not prepared, it's by then it's too late. Um, so if you're out there and you're watching this video and you're like, oh, I don't need anything, I'm telling you, 
prepare yourself. I'm not saying go out and buy a thousand dollars worth of food and all that stuff, um, but have you need to have a good stockpile, maybe two weeks, three weeks, four weeks supply that you, if you did have a shelter up in your house for a month, you could comfortably, no worries at all. And that's what you need to do. And that's what I hope, hope, hope this open dries a little bit that maybe if you haven't done it yet, um, get out there and do it. Don't rush and go buy everything at the store. Like it's, it can get pretty crazy. I know in some of the bigger cities, we live in a rural area, um, city's about nine or ten miles from here um but it's not not necessarily our city but like tulsa oklahoma city new york la places like that um they're sending pictures of everything off the shelves people are just freaking out and by then it's almost it's almost too late um you should be preparing this stuff ready so if you haven't prepared yourself for what is probably coming um it's kind of so weird i think the media's blown it out of proportion honestly like i'm not like scared or anything but i want to be prepared just in case something does happen but i definitely think the media's just blown this out of proportion no doubt about it um and it's one of them dominoes effects once they start canceling things um we're having the meetup in two weeks and I've, we've talked uh, a group message about we still want to have it um, we just don't know if ever, anyone's going to show up um, because we're personally not worried about it um, we're not so naive to think that it can't happen um, but we want we don't want to cancel it right now we want to see ha what happens over the next week or so and I know people have already bought their uh, bought plane tickets and hotel rooms and all that stuff and I know several other meetups that are happening two or three weeks past us they've already canceled all their meetups for this I'm like man it's just kind of like fear mongling people are just like scared and uh like i don't think we should be to that point where we're just scared um but we definitely need to be have our eyes open be prepared um but so yeah as far as the meetup goes um we're st it's still on it's, as of right now it's still on it's in two weeks uh so we'll see we'll see what happens over the next week and it's one of them things if we feel like yeah we got to cancel it um, then that's what we'll do as a group. We'll talk about it and say, this is the best for everyone. But as of right now, none of us are really too concerned here in Oklahoma um, that it's just going to, the, the CV is just going to spread like, I don't know. Um, we don't know. We're kind of just, it's kind of up in the air. Um, so yeah, if you still plan on coming, leave me comments down below because we just don't really know um, if anyone's going to show up really because everyone's so scared to death to, uh, of this going around. So but hope you guys like today's video. Just a quick vlog. I want to throw it for you guys. Probably a late vlog on Thursday. I just got off work a little bit ago. What? Bye, babe. All right, let the dogs get it. Gabby's a mouse catching fool. Out there, Gabby, get it. Get it, Gabby. Right there. Good job, Gabby. Go we'll spit it out. It ain't got no diseases. Everyone's gonna buy it. It's got diseases. No, she catch. She's been a mouse catching machine since the time she can run around. She loves it. She just goes after them. She's better than any cat I've ever had. Actually, never had any cats, but she's better than cats. I promise you that. But all right, I'm gonna get off here today. Uh, if you got any any questions about anything or any comments of things I've said today, leave me comments down below and tell me what you all think. And uh, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you just smash that like button for me, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, I want to make a crazy thumbnail for this video just because <laughs> people are some people are just scared of these things. I don't know why, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get off here now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>